Hey guys, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel Pride Pilot. Today I am going to discuss with you regarding the best seats available in an aircraft. So, of course, uh, before moving forward to the content, I would like to say thanks to all my viewers and subscribers who every day liking my videos, commenting on it, and new viewers are subscribing to my channel. So heartiest thanks from my side so let's move forward to the content so if you have in your mind which is the best possible seats to be booked before traveling today in my video I'm going to give you a brief idea of course in an aircraft any day anytime it's the cockpit which is the best seat possible from where you can have a great view being a pilot I will of course say like it's the cockpit but nevertheless even you can have sitting in the cabin some best possible seats so let's move forward first let's go to skyscanner website try to uh, get a ticket uh, let's say Singapore to Dubai so those of, of you who don't know how to book ticket please check my previous video from where I uh, discussed about how to book cheap air tickets there you get a brief idea how to book tickets from Skyscanner website so from here I just took the idea uh, Singapore Changi flight from Singapore to Dubai EK405 so I need this data so then I move forward to seedguru.com. This is the best online website uh, provided by Trav TripAdvisor. Sorry, TripAdvisor. They give us a brief idea about uh, which is the best uh, possible seats. Our flight number is 405 Emirates 405. And press the find button. And here you have two ideas like Singapore to Dubai, Boeing 777-300 year. Press the view map. Okay. So basically you have the um, seat map structure in front of you. So before booking any flight ticket, if you come to seatguru.com, they will try to help you which is the best possible seats available in on board so if you are traveling business class or first class of course any seats are good but even seat guru says that even in your business classes these are the seats which are less uh, comfortable let's roll over the cursor on red chair so it says seat 7a or 7k is a business class seat with a misaligned window so if you're sitting on this business class seat you will not have a good view from your window or your window is a little bit far from you and also the close proximities to the lavatory and galley may be bothersome for few passengers you can see this is a galley over here and a lavatory and yellow seats of course it says it's also close proximity to the lab lavatory and galley and it may be bothersome but other seats which are white are normal and if you are booking economic class seats then you can see there are many white seats which are very normal yellow seats it says the same thing they are pretty much close to lavo tree or galley and it may be bothersome for few passengers but they are green seats why what does it mean green seats are those with extra leg room the tray table is in the armrest making the armrest immovable and uh, slightly reducing seat feed there is no floor storage for this seat during takeoff and landing there is a bassinet location here so passengers traveling with infants are often seated in this row so if you are traveling with infants this is the best possible seat but if you are not traveling with an infant my suggestion my personal suggestion don't sit near to this area because it might be noisy 
and of course the end row like in this aircraft 49a 49b then d e f g all these seats are at the end row here you will have less reclining of your chair so limited reclination of your chair so if it doesn't bother you of course you can take it then some people ask me like uh, please tell me since you are a pilot or you are attached to aviation which is the best possible seat is it front row or middle row or rear row so front of the economic cabin is the quietest it is my personal suggestion why it is because it is in front of the aircraft engines so of course if you can analyze in your brain you will try to understand that engine noise are more at the back of the engine not at the front so engines are sucking the air from the front and throwing it at the back side so it is much noisier at the back side and rear of the cabin tends to be noisiest as i said to you because of engine noise perspective and it also bumps around more during a turbulence generally back of the plane seats are more empty so you can spread a lot over here like people prefer front seats so if you like to sleep a lot if it is a long haul flight like back of the seat will be much preferable since you can sleep you can move your armrest and you can sleep properly and from the point of meal service it is very difficult to suggest because some airlines prefer from the front of the cabin and few from the back of the cabin so i can't say which one will be great in regarding meal service and when you are going to the check in counter the check in desk often ask you often ask the passengers like aisle or window why they don't ask about the middle seats because middle seats are pretty much obvious it's a disturbing uh, seat y you have to move uh, you have to uh, get up if you want to move out uh, spread out or uh, walk to the water closet you need to ask your fellow passenger kindly get up so it's a disturbing area but if you are uh, sitting near the window it is like cool it is uh, something which i also prefer sitting inside the cabin why because you get the cabin wall in which you can lean and you can fall asleep and you don't fall asleep on your fellow passengers when you have a window seat and if you are getting aisle seat aisle seat gives you easy access to walk around aisle seat positions can also be prone to knocks and bumps as passengers walk past or try to squeeze past service carts so you can understand my personal preference is of course window seat but if anyone ask you like airlines generally charge a lot if it is a exit row seat or a bulkhead seat like somewhere here bulkhead seat see it's written over here standard and bulkhead so you get a lot of leg room in an exit seat but on the downside you will not be allowed to keep any items or hand luggage by your seat during landing and take off it will be mentioned over here uh, and why it is because uh, in case of emergencies this may be uh, become an obstacle so please try to follow the instructions carefully what cabin crew ask you to do or what pilots ask you to do and um, if you really analyze these seats are much more smaller because they lack PTV entertainment screen on the back of the seat whereas they consist all the meal trays and other stuffs inside your armrest thus it makes the seats smaller and what about bulkhead seats bulkhead seats are located immediately behind a solid cabin cabin divider 
like somewhere over here you can see there is a divider attached to it and they tend to be much noisier why because i already told you over here you will find bassinets over here you will find lot of families with infants or babies so it might be noisy for you to sit somewhere over here in this region and what about toilet like seats near the toilet or galley area somewhere hmm, this region sits next to the toilet face unpleasant odors extreme flush noise repetition light intrusion every time passengers open the door or uh, like door of the washroom and often a lot of people miling around your seat area as they queue for washroom and if you're sitting next to a galley it can also be a bad choice why because with the high level of pedestrian traffic curtains may not always be kept shut preparation and clearance of meals always result a quiet noisy section so i hope guys all of you understood like there is nothing called a search best possible seats everything is in context if you prefer window seats if you uh, like to rest your head of course window seat is uh, preferred if you uh, want to look outside of course window seat is preferred but if you want to uh, seldom uh, walk around the aisle then of course aisle seat is much preferable then you need to tackle with those bombs and those uh, um, passengers traffic around your area and better to be in the front uh, rows because of course uh, over here you will not uh, get much noise but if you go at the back of the uh, ca cabin you will hear a lot of noise from the engine thank you viewers for watching my video i hope you like it please do share subscribe and comment on my video i will love it and thank you have a wonderful time